this is a conversation. Are you ready for this one? First of all, shout out to Kelsey and Cody who just had a baby. They are one of my favorite couples. They are obviously meant to be together. Look at this video I found of Kelsey because I, oh, well, this conversation's so good. I can't wait to see your opinions on it. Someone that was in my life, she was with her boyfriend for two years. She like went on like a weekend, like, I don't know, tailgate something. Okay. And she developed a crush. She broke up with the boyfriend. Mm hmm and like tried to pursue the crush mm -hmm. ended up being like a fuck boy and being like what are you doing like i don't care about you right went back to the boyfriend is now married with kids with the boyfriend and to be truthful with you that has always given me pause since meeting steven mm -hmm. have not had a crush i always had other crushes on other people in other relationships, in other relationships. Mm -hmm. so i would always say it's normal. Exactly. So when asked me, I would be like, oh my God, it's so normal. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it happens all the time. Right. When I started dating Cody, I was like, absolutely have never had the desire to have mm -hmm. a crush on someone else. So and I, then I was yeah. like, maybe you're just not with the right person. Yeah. So now I would say my final answer is it's not normal. What do you guys think about that? First, we have to say, what is a crush? Because I think that's the part that gets confusing is like, what is a crush? Right? Because for Brittany, I don't really experience crushes. I never have in my life. And when I do have a crush, <clears throat> I'm just interested in you, bro. That's what that is. That's interest. So for me to have a crush on someone would mean that I was interested in them, which means I've gotten to know them, which means I've, I've probably violated a boundary in my relationship to even like you in that way. Because even if you're polyamorous, it would still take an effort for me to be interested in you because I don't just get crushes. In a monogamous setting, like I got, I've talked about this with you guys before, where I think there's like a million high compatibility partners for me in the world, but I met this one. And so I married this one and him and I are very in love. We don't think about other people. I don't crush on other people. He's not interested in other people. We also don't find ourselves very compatible with people often. We've never met somebody like each other. We really feel like this is the first time we've ever met somebody this, that was like, uh, like this compatible with us and everyone else before us just felt like people we dated who like never seemed to work out. In our relationship, in order for one of us to bond in a crushing way, like to have a crush on someone, both of us, we would have to get to know them and we would have to talk to them in such an intimate way it would violate the, violate the sanctity of our monogamy. So for us, we're bound to never crush on anyone ever again because to crush on someone is to connect with them, is to show interest in them, is to be attracted to them. And to be attracted to them would mean that we would have to, again, engage in a level of intimacy that would be a violation to our monogamy. But that's not the same thing as finding somebody attractive, which I think is just like a physical, oh yes, they are attractive. But to be attracted to them would be very strange. I have never been attracted to anyone else. I've never even thought about anyone else. Um, he's never been attracted to anyone else in this relationship. Like that idea would feel like such a violation to the relationship just because again, well first like there's demisexuality at play. There's like a lot of other things at play in this relationship where for us to find someone attractive would mean that them, the consciousness, like I'm interested in them, which would be so weird. But a physical attraction, like, that's not hard. Because, like, but it's not like I want to fuck them attraction. It's like, oh, I can acknowledge you are attractive, which I think is different. Like, I haven't been physically into anyone else. I haven't thought about anyone else. I only think about him naked. I don't think about anyone else. In that way, um, porn stars don't count. I haven't been attracted to anyone else I've met. I haven't thought about anyone else. Like, I don't, my brain doesn't do that. But my brain also doesn't get jealous. My brain doesn't experience FOMO. And I don't think about cheating ever. So to be fair, I think both of our brains are compatible in that way as well. What do you guys think? Hannah says, I've been with my partner for four years and I don't have crushes other than him. I also define, uh, also my definition of crush is the same as yours, Brittany. So not normal for me. Mm. I, 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 If you guys have a different definition of crush, I'd like to hear it as well. Um, because I think there's definitely a difference. Bisa says it takes an effort to develop a crush for me personally. Caitlin says I'm incredibly monogamous, so interest in anyone but who I am. Not interest, no interest in anyone but who I'm with. Same. Mar says I think being attracted to other people while in a relationship is fine, but when you crave emotional connection from someone other than your partner, there's probably a deeper issue. Oh, for sure. And even if you're poly minded, even when I was poly, people would accuse me of being monogamous, like in a funny way. They'd be like, oh my God, for a poly girl, you never date other people. I was like, I date other people. They're like, you sleep with other people, but you don't really date anybody. I was like, I don't really like anybody. It, it It's really rare for me to in, want to do my life with people. I've only felt that with one person and I married him. I've only met one person that I've dated that I wanted to do actually life with. 
in a very profound way enough to marry them. Even with my ex that I like thought I was going to marry, I wasn't ready to marry him until I thought we would be compatible. We weren't compatible in the right way. We were like 60 to 55% compatible and it wasn't high enough. And I was like, we can't get married with 50% compatibility. That's crazy. We're not getting married. My partner and I, this one, I think when we initially met, I thought we were 80%. Then I realized I was like, no, we're 90%. And now I would say we're like 99.9% .9 compatible. It's insane. Like I'm still trying to figure out what we're not compatible with. I don't know what in what way we're not compatible. It's just, it's crazy how compatible we are. You know, I'm trying to like problem solve this. I kind of think I agree with the girls where I maybe when you're crushed and I do think Cody Ko and Kelsey, when I look at Cody Ko and Kelsey, my sister and I think of them as like literally soulmates. Like, oh, yep, this is, this is that high compatibility partnership. This is like very high compatibility partnership. This is like the love of your life status. And this is what I think I have with my husband. Like when I look at Cody Ko and Kelsey, if they ever cheated on each other or got divorced, I would be so shook to my deepest core. Cause I'd be like, what? Other couples I see, I'm taking bets. I'm like, eh, they'll probably get divorced because I don't think they're soulmates in that way. But Cody Ko and Kelsey, I've never doubted. She says a crush for me, superficial romantic interest in someone, seeds of romance, but when I'm with the right person, AKA truly into them, I won't give two shits about anybody else. Ah. So, so for some people, like crushes are, I think, casual, right? I think for a lot of people, crushes are like very casual. Even with somebody I really, really like, I don't think about Googling them. Like when I was courting my husband, I never Googled him. I had all his information. I never looked him up. I feel like sometimes when people have a crush and they're young, they might be like, oh my God, I'm gonna check their MySpace or I'm gonna check their Facebook. I don't Google people. Does that make sense? So I'm also in that category as well. I don't know. But she says to be f uh, fair, Brittany, you have standards way different from the average person. I mean, that's true. I mean, that's the that's the high compatibility prospect as well. If I am not like the average person, that I definitely need to date somebody who's not the average person, which is why I married someone who's not the average person, you know, because I, well, that relationship, I couldn't have been with somebody who was the average person. It wouldn't have made sense. Kay says, yeah, crushes are super casual for me. It's like I see someone I'm attracted to and for whatever reason, and then from then on, they're just on my radar. Oh, so my mind notices them more. I think that's the common definition for crush, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong, that a crush is just someone who's on your radar. Maybe you notice them more. Maybe you, you have a crush on them at your local coffee shop. And when they come in, you pay attention to what they order. Or maybe you start to notice them or even like hope they'll show up. Mars says, I couldn't imagine having a crush on anyone other than my partner. I just don't think about or look at anyone else since meeting him. Yeah, I think they're like for different people, it's like a different idea. But I couldn't imagine hoping to run into someone. Like when I'm at the local grocery store, when I was single, I would look at every single person and wonder if they were my person because I was like, oh, is this my story? Do I meet my person at a grocery store? And now that I'm like, married i'm like where's the blue cheese where are the roses i am focused where's the gargonzola all i'm seeing i ain't seeing nobody's face i ain't looking at no one's eyes i got eyes for blue cheese and blue cheese alone that's what i noticed at the grocery store and i'm not doing it on purpose either i'm not a person that's like don't look at anyone i'm a person who literally is just thinking about blue cheese i'm only saying that because i got blue cheese well i got gargonzola today which i call sort of blue cheese but you know what i mean but for real like i I used to be the person that'd be like, is this my person? Is this my person? I'd be just like, are you, are we going to run into each other today? And now my whole life is cheese, girl. The cheese counter at the deli. Oh, I am all about the cheese aisle. Chrissy says when I'm in a relationship, it's like I have blinders on. Everyone else just blends into the background for sure. Daisy says it's like unofficial demisexual con here. Look, I'm a little sexual, but when I'm in a relationship, I'm demi. Do you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? When I'm single, I'm aloe as fuck. When I'm in a relationship, it's like I'm it's like I'm demisexual. It's like my brain shuts down and I notice nobody. Thank you.